guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan, and today we're gonna do a pantry like tour of what we have in our pantry, our freezer, our fridge, whatever. This is after I've already been grocery shopping though, because I'm recording this after I recorded my grocery haul. I'm a little backwards this week. I didn't get stuff done as quick as I wanted to and whatnot, just life got in the way basically. So, as I was saying like two weeks ago, for the month of February, I am going to optimize my shopping, which means that next week I'm going to show you how I meal plan and how I get all of that stuff done and how I make my list. And then I want, I'm not cutting my budget. I'm not doing a pantry challenge. I don't like those because then as soon as you're done with a pantry challenge, you're like down to no food. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to make what I need to buy really small. So like maybe five to six items, what we need each week, give or take, minus like milk and bread and eggs. But make those like small. So basically, I, we'll start over. I'm going to make it where we have everything that we need for each meal each week. And then I'm going to shop sales and stock up on stuff so that I'm getting the biggest bang for my buck. So next week I'm gonna show you how to do that or how partially how to do it I'm gonna go over how I meal plan and give you tips on meal planning and all that so this week all I'm showing you is what we have in our fridge freezer what we have in our snack cupboard which is right here and what we have in our pantry and then we have a freezer downstairs and like a stockpile downstairs of stuff I got couponing and whatnot which is a bunch of odds and ends really right now so let's get started okay we're gonna start with the fridge so we have milk my fridge is dirty like most of my stuff is not as clean as it should be we got some orange juice half and half my cream whipping cream this is like pickles and condiments we have homemade jerky up here that I made Two different bags, two different kinds, a salad I'm going to have for lunch, some Sprite Zero. I still have these cookies I got last week that we haven't made, strawberries and blueberries, there's some sausage. This is, um, what is this? Oh, it's um, shredded pork taco meat. And then this is the jambalaya we made last night. And then three dozen eggs or so, some mangoes. I'm going to cut these up for the kids. We have mushrooms. This is, we're using this Polish, ah, kielbasa for fried rice. We have some cottage cheese. This is what I got instead of a cake. So I have cheesecake for my birthday. These are my husband's breakfast sandwiches. We got some lettuce, yogurt. There's all of our veggies and fruits. This is homemade tortillas and cheese and butter. And then our drink drawer, which has water kids soda, kids Gatorade, Bang, and Diet Mountain Dew. So, and then we have some more condiments up here and condiments here. Uh, so that's everything that's in our fridge. And then here is our freezer. So, um, when I bought all those yogurts, I actually froze most of them because they're really good to use unfrozen. This is some chicken that I need to pull out for tonight. And then I have all this lunch meat, more yogurt. I have chili ice cream. This is barbecue chicken that we can use one day. This is some soup, hot dogs, rolls, sausage. I have... Oh four cans of beef stock right here and then there, there's a chicken and there's some more chicken and then right here we have bacon from yesterday from when I went shopping some more of these I have a whole chicken I have some meatballs and bacon and then some shrimp broccoli and lean cuisine and then this right here is homemade pesto sauce I made pesto last year over the summer and froze it. So I have that. And then this cupboard right here, which is like in our kitchen. I have a whole bunch of dirty dishes, but that's because I didn't start the dishwasher last night. And so this is our snack cupboard. 
And this is all the snacks. I'm not going to go through every single thing that we have. But our snack cupboard, if you can't tell, is pretty well stocked. So we have that. This is basically where we go if we want like a late night snack. And then this is my pantry. And there's a lot of stuff in here. I need to organize this hardcore. So we have all of our drinks right there. Cat litter, potatoes, onions. This is like baked goods. So we have our evaporated milk. That's all cake behind there. Jello, whatever other baked goods that we have. And then flour and stuff. And then we have rice and potatoes. This is all of our pasta and con like the condiments that are not in the fridge. Oysters, garlic, pineapple stuff. Just a mod podge of a whole bunch of random stuff, really. And then these up here, I think I need to empty these out. These is jalapeno jelly that I made. Homemade pickles up at the very top and all my dried beans. All my canned goods are right there. So it's kind of like a mess. I really need to organize this because if you just looked in there, you'd think we didn't have a lot of anything. Or we have a lot of mismatched stuff. That's okay because it gets the job done. Okay, I'm going to take you guys downstairs now. Okay, this is my basement. We have like four things of spaghetti squash that we could use up soon. And I am not going to empty this. I know that there's probably five pork roasts, four beef roasts, six packages of hamburger like this, ten packages of chicken thighs. We have chicken breast in there. We have a lasagna. Probably six to ten packages of fish. And a thing of ribs, and then a blackened pepper pork roast, and then four steaks. Plus some chorizo and some other odds and ends stuff. So we have quite a bit of stuff in here. I'm just not going to pull it all out because that's a lot of stuff. Like, this is pretty full. So, and then, if you can't tell, I really need to get in here and organize this mess. So this is all non-food items that I have got couponing. And so most of the stuff I had coupons for. If not, I bought it at like the Dollar Tree or super cheap. So we don't need any like household goods besides like paper towels when I find them on sale. And so we have all those. We still have diapers left. We have ketchup. We're getting kind of low on mayonnaise. I need to start stocking up. We got three mayonnaise. That's sad. We used to have a whole bunch. And then we still have two of these. We still have Cheerios and Special K. We got some fruit low up. I have this big thing of goldfish still. Another thing of Mountain Dew. Um, some of this cran apple and tea for the kids and these. So this is like everything else that just doesn't fit in my pantry that we don't need extra of. So, yeah, this is, I'll flip you guys around and end the video so you're not staring at a bunch of random stuff. That's everything that we have in our pantry and our freezers and we're pretty well stocked up. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to buy stuff on sale because we eat meat pretty much with every dinner. And so we're going to go through some of that in the month of February. So if I can find stuff on sale th so that I can keep it stocked up, then it's good. And I, the main reason I need to emphasize this, the main reason I keep everything stocked up is because we work in the oil field. So there's times that my husband will work like 200 hours in two weeks and we're get a, we'll get a nice paycheck. And then the next two weeks, we might not get a pay, hardly a paycheck at all. He might only work like 80 hours to 100. And so I really strive to make sure that we're stocked up on stuff so that if I only have $20 to spend on groceries, I can buy eggs and milk and coffee creamer and we're good and we don't have to worry about it. And the, everybody says that with the oil field, you should have a savings account, but it's so hard to have a savings account when there's months that you barely have enough money to pay your bills. So to me, this is like a savings account. 
Because, yeah, we have an extra paycheck. We get extra couple hundred dollars on a paycheck. So we stock up on meat and everything like that. And it's just reassuring that we are able to feed our family. And not go without. Because, I mean, we have a lot of stuff. Like, I don't think I've actually bought, like, hair care products in, like, a year. Or, not a year. It's been a couple months, though. And when I do get them, I get them free. Like, if I have bought them recently, it's because they're free. So I'm not buying them. I'm getting them for free. And it's just stuff like that that pays off. Like, if I find gain at the Dollar Tree again, I am guarantee I'm going to buy everyone I can get if I have the money. Because I can't go to Walmart and buy that for the price I bought them for. So, it's... Okay, sorry. I had a phone call. But it just makes me feel like I'm a better home economist, being able to have a freezer that's full and everything like that. Like, we could probably budget our money better. Yes, we could. But I feel we're doing pretty good because we don't pay full price for anything. And we have, like, a good stockpile. So, I hope that you enjoyed the video, I guess. Um, I don't know what else to say. I could ramble on more about it. I will, however, next week show you the same stuff. We'll go through my fridge before we go shopping and you'll see how low it gets and what all we need to buy and everything like that. And then I'll show you like my meal planning and how I, how I meal plan for the week and how I get where we don't have to buy a lot, but we still end up spending our whole grocery budget. And it's not because we have to buy it. Like I could probably get away doing a pantry challenge and only spending $20 a week. But I want to make sure I buy meat when it's on sale. Like the steaks I bought this week. Those were on sale. We love steaks. Why not buy them while they're on sale, freeze them, and then eat them at a different date? Like Valentine's Day is coming up. So we'll already have steak. We could buy a vegetable that week and have steak and a veggie. For, and shrimp, because we already have shrimp. So it's like one steak feeds me and my husband. We could do a couple, five to six pieces of shrimp and then like roasted cauliflower or something like that. And there's a romantic dinner that cost us half the price if we went and bought it the week of Valentine's Day. If we went to the store just for that. So I know it's conf it's like controversial to you when you're doing a pantry challenge, you shouldn't spend money. That's why it's not a pantry challenge. I... Um, being more intentional with how I spend my money and only buying, like, stuff I know that we will use up before it's bad and getting it on sale. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you do pantry challenges or if you like to stock up on stuff when it's on sale. And let's talk. Okay? Thanks again for watching. I hope you're subscribed. And I hope you like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.